What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee and I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change your brake light switch. This is something you're gonna to wanna to do if your brake lights aren't coming on or maybe your car is stuck in park. But before we change the switch, it's worth checking the fuse. So we're gonna head under the hood where we can find the fuse for the brake light switch. So you open this up by squeezing these two tabs together and the fuse is going to be this 15 amp fuse. So this provides constant power to your brake lights, to your brake light switch rather. So let's head back in the car and I'll show you how to get to that switch. So you're going to pry on this piece. You want to get this to come out. And uh, sometimes you have to pry over here as well, or you can just grab it and yank it down. Get it out of the way so looking in here there's the brake light switch right in front of us so i can kind of reach around the steering column and put my hands on it and to remove it i need to rotate it to the left counterclockwise and that will get it to come out now at this point it's still connected to the harness so it won't really move all that much I went ahead and uh, detached this piece, which holds it further back, just so I can get the harness out, get it to where I can get my camera on it. Now that power from that fuse comes in on this gray red wire. And when you hit the brakes, it allows the plunger of the switch to pop out. And when that occurs, the brake light switch will send the power from the gray red wire to this uh, white brown wire. And from there, it will go to a couple different places. Now, you can see I, I kind of broke this connector to start with. It's a little tricky to disconnect. Sometimes you can do it without breaking it. Sometimes you just break it. Um, but what I do, that green piece is really what retains it. Uh, the green piece is part of the connector there. And so I just pry on, on either side here where the little green tabs are. You want the green piece to come up and then the whole piece can come, can come out. So I'm gonna pause the recording real quick so I can remove it. So you can see I've got it disconnected and the green piece kind of floats around. And you can see the little protrusions on the green piece are actually what holds the connector to the switch. When you hook up the new switch, it just slides in And that's that you can see the it's fully connected when the green piece has the little nubs popping down and reinstalling the switch or installing the new switch it's basically reverse of removal so let me get this maneuvered back in here So you put it in at while it's angled to the left. You slide it into that little square hole right there. And then you get, you're gonna have to kind of push it in it because you're fighting that spring tension. And then you turn it to the right to lock it. So it goes in crooked and once it's in all the way, you turn it to the right to lock it. So yeah, I hope this info was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you've got any advice about troubleshooting the brake lights on your Jeep.